Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. On this one, I'm going to show you how to create a subtle vibration or a subtle shake just like that. Let's get going. I'm going to delete this and start from scratch. Go to your project panel. I'm going to go ahead and remove these and let's start with our footage. All right, drag and drop that onto your timeline like I've done here. Beautiful. I only need a few seconds of her. So yeah, why did I select her? Scientific purposes, people. All right, so for science, let's go. All right, the first step to get the ball rolling, go down here to your new item, create an adjustment layer, just like I've done here. Just click on OK, drag and drop that on top of your footage. Now, here's what you need to do. Depending on where you want the shake to start, let's say I want it to start at two seconds. I'm going to start the adjustment layer at two seconds. And very, very importantly, click on your right arrow key three times. One, two, three. This creates a three frame adjustment layer like I've just done. Okay, so now we're gonna select the adjustment layer and it's only three frames long. We're gonna apply two effects. The first one, go to your effects panel, type in magnify. We're gonna drop magnify on top of it, just like that. It does nothing really out of the box, except a little um, minor magnification. First thing, select a size and then go all the way up to over a thousand. So something like this, about 1400 works for this. So this is a magnification. Now take the magnification level from 150 to about 105. This is a very subtle effect. Let's just show you what we've got here. So you just hit spacebar, boom, it's a very subtle effect, perfect. Okay, now back in here, we're gonna go back to our effects panel, type in mosaic. M-O-S-A-I-C, just like that. And this is just gonna add a little bit of visual flair to go with it. So drag and drop that on it. I'm gonna go on top of it and you're gonna see it looks all sort of Minecrafty. Not to panic, go into your effect controls panel and then just change your horizontal blocks to about 90 and your vertical blocks to about 150, something like that. Let's see what we got. Bang, that's all there is to it guys. Thanks for watching.